So, the first thing in actually making the cake is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> now we're going to spray the cake pan. For this next step, we've put half a cup of water in water here to boil. In Bottom half of the boiler. And now the chocolate's on top, and we wait for it to boil. This is for about one teaspoon of baking soda. Now we're going to put about one teaspoon of salt. And now we have to get out the cup. And we are going to put in two cups of flour and a fourth cup of cocoa. This is all approximate. And for the flour. Let me see. One moment. Nope. Oh, right. My sister is just like down. Is it two or one, Anna? Two. Here's one. So now we've included the one cup or two sticks of butter to the sugar. Now we're going to put it on so a medium we just high. added four large eggs out of the back. chocolate. Two and, and the vanilla to the mixture of sugar, butter, and eggs. So we just added the buttermilk and the chocolate. Not the chocolate mixture, the flour mixture. So our little spin this on this is you're supposed to make it into two and then you combine it so that you have a layered cake. But we want to just make one cake, so we're gonna evenly divide the cake. Now it's all in the pan, and we're only gonna use one, and we're not gonna worry about layering. And we'll bake for 30 to 35 we minutes. We need 1.5 cups of milk. Or 12 ounces. Or 12 ounces. There's going to be a little chocolate in this, but that's okay. One. Two. Two. Now we, we have just come put up. in a cup of sugar, 12 ounces of milk, half a cup of butter, which is a stick, three egg yolks, a teaspoon of vanilla, and now we just have to stir it on the stove. We just put in two and a half cups of coconut and one and a half cup of pecans. Now we just and stir. And voila, the cake is done.